We would be honored if you would join us. Nobody does Star Wars like the power of the Force from Kenner. Hey folks, welcome back to another episode of Power of the Force Fridays. We're looking at 2-1-B this week, the medical droid as seen in Empire Strikes Back. Uh, I was inspired based on my chat with Carl from the Wampers Lair last week. Um, we got to the question of favourite droid. And uh, yeah, he sort of brought up 2-1-B, was always always a favourite of his. And, um, you know, he held up the, uh, the the Power of the Force figure that you see in front of you. Um, so I decided to make this week's video based on this droid. It's not one I've done yet. Um, still, a, you know, a character and a figure that gets overlooked a lot. Um, and I just decided this week would be perfect. Um, so we thought we'd just do a little bit of a, little bit of a walk around, take a look. I do like the, uh, you know, the, the sort of, I don't know, I've always dug the, the sort of, uh, texture of, of the steel on the chest and the, and the hair, head. It almost got a very sort of metallic look to it. Um, and his microphone voice box thing. <laughs> and sort of utilizing the, the sort of the clear plastic there for whatever is meant to be in there. I'm not even sure. Maybe he's a walking back to tank. Um, <laughs> I honestly have no idea. I didn't go do research through reference books or anything before this video, so... So what I do have here is a pretty rough looking Kenna Vintage one. Um, yeah, it's dirty. He's missing the the mouthpiece. Um, he just looks like he's singing. He's just going, ah! <laughs> So yeah, it's a... Uh, would love to update this at some point in my, uh, in my life, but... You can sort of see the clear plastic there as well. The limbs are nice and loose. He's a bit dirty. I actually think I might go and put him through the dishwasher with, with tonight's dishes. <laughs> just to just to see if I can't clean him up a little bit. It's nothing I can't do with a uh, toothbrush and some hot water. But uh, to hell with it. I'm going to put him in the dishwasher. And then I have here the most recent version, which comes from... 30th anniversary collection, so already an older figure, but it still checks out. Um, I don't think it has a date. Yeah, 2008, so yeah, legacy collection would be more so. Or, it was Revenge of the Sith, so what if it came out in Revenge of the Sith line then? 2008. So maybe it's maybe as a reused sculpt. Um, I don't recall it being out before that, but it very well may have. So this, in my opinion, is still you know it's still holds up. You know it's uh, you know m probably more screen accurate to the one that's working on Darth Vader, but it is still it's the two one B surgical droid. So a little bit of difference there. Um, let's see, it's got the. Uh, Sort of injectable sort of arm, but still, they did a updated version of the two one B medical droid. I imagine it looks something like this. Maybe it's a little bit low in scale. I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? I do like this one. It's, uh, yeah, he does go on the Revenge of the Sith shelf, and it's nice to nice to have actually have his stand. I must have had this figure for a few years now. I'm still trying to track down an FX6 medical droid to finish up Vader's sort of surgery table from Revenge of the Sith. But, so here we've got three different generations of 2-1-Bs. I like him. I think it's cool. Yeah, articulation's pretty minimal. Um, I'm surprised that hose actually hasn't hasn't broken it all over the years. It does sort of peg in the front there. Because this was when they made plastic strong. 
So yeah, it's good just like to swivel the heads at the head. He's only got one head. Swivel with the arms there. And then yeah, a bit of a swivel with the legs. And sort of yeah, he's got a little bit of a bow in the leg there. Um you know, I sort of did the same with my EV99 figure, I think I mentioned in the review there that um that um yeah, he had a little bit of a bow in the leg just from being in the packaging for as long as he has. But uh it's not a big dealio. Yeah, he's a cool looking droid. Would wouldn't wouldn't hesitate to see a you know an updated one or a vintage card. I reckon that look cool. Don't know how well he'd sell, but he's part of the '96, and uh, you know Hasbro's going to get around to him eventually. So maybe put him in a four back four pack with some other other random figures, some Hoth troopers or something. I don't know. I don't know. I'm no marketing guy. But there is this week's episode of Power of the Force Fridays. I hope you enjoyed checking out 21B, the medical droid. We saw him throughout Empire Strikes Back on Hoth, and then what I'm assuming is the same droid on the uh, the frigate at the end. So thank you very much for watching. We'll be back next week for another episode of Power of the Force Fridays. I hope you enjoy, I hope you join me for that one too, and we'll see you then. Till then, may the force be with you always. Thank you.